Thanks for stopping by I Did Not Know That Classic TV Edition. Please like and subscribe. I'll think about it. It's all I ask. Coming up on this episode of I Did Not Know That. During the series run, Lieutenant Gerard refused to acknowledge Richard Kimball could be innocent. He didn't care. Whether the law is right or wrong is not my concern. Let others debate and conclude. I obey. Long before Harrison Ford portrayed Richard Kimball, an innocent man convicted of killing his wife in the film The Fugitive, there was the TV series. It ran from 1963 to August 29, 1967. That date is significant and I'll tell you why later. If you're not familiar with the movie or the TV series, Dr. Richard Kimball returns home one evening to find that a one-armed man has murdered his wife. The man escapes. Kimball is accused of the murder, tried, convicted, and sentenced to death. But after a train he's riding on derails, he escapes, and is not only running from the law, but from a man possessed with catching him and bringing him to justice, a man named Lieutenant Gerard. He's innocent. I don't philosophize. I hunt. In the TV series, the part was played by actor Barry Morse. What most people did not know was that Morse was British, but had perfected an accent he said he modeled after the speech patterns of people from Indiana, where Richard Kimball was from. My name's Barry Morse, and once upon a time, I was Lieutenant Gerard of the Fugitive. <laughs> Gives you all a bit of a shock, doesn't it? Because <laughs> I don't look very much like this hard-faced, relentless character that I used to play. Uh, that's partly because a good few years have gone by. And, uh, what is it, almost 30 years ago that we started on this series. And, of course, partly because I don't sound like that. Uh, Philip Gerard with his, <clears throat> I hope, thoroughly convincing American accent. There's a reason for that, too. I'm not an American. During the series run, Lieutenant Gerard refused to acknowledge Richard Kimball could be innocent. He didn't care. Whether the law is right or wrong is not my concern. Let others debate and conclude. I obey. His job, as he often stated, was to enforce the law and bring Kimball to justice. He played Gerard as cold, shrewd, and relentless. All he cared about was that Kimball had a fair trial, was convicted, sentenced to death, and then escaped. Not only had Kimball gotten away, but he had personally escaped from Gerard. The viewers had the advantage of knowing that Kimball indeed had not killed his wife. So week after week, they watched the noble and long-suffering Kimball come within a hair's breadth of being caught, which of course would have meant his execution. Through much of the series, Lieutenant Gerard continued to ruthlessly pursue him. The series was a popular one, and soon Barry Morse, the actor who played Gerard, became a well-known face across America. While he might have been well-known, he was not well-liked, according to him. In many ways, these were much simpler times, and people took their TV shows pretty seriously. Sherwood Schwartz, who created Gilligan's Island, said they were told by the Coast Guard that they had received messages asking them to rescue seven people stranded on an island. In a number of interviews, Morse told of running into fans of the show who didn't take kindly to him hunting poor Dr. Kimball. Morse said at one point he was getting 200 hate letters every week. He said old women in airports would hit him with their handbags and hulking men would come up to him in a bar and say, Don't you understand? Kimball is innocent. He said that while it was quite the compliment to his acting skills, it was also kind of dangerous. He stated, I was the most hated man in America, and I loved it. One funny story he told was that while eating dinner at a restaurant, he was slipped a note that read, Kimball is in the kitchen. As the series went on, Gerard began to soften a bit, and the creators let the audience see that he was starting to have doubts about Kimball's guilt. I'm forgetting that my story is exactly the same now as it was the night of the murder. And it was and is a lie. You know, I think you have nightmares too. Your nightmare is that when I'm dead, you'll find him. What are you 
running from, Gerard? On August 29, 1967, Richard Kimball finally catches up to and confronts the one-armed man who had murdered his wife. In fact, Richard Kimball was just about to be murdered himself by the same man when a shot rang out, killing the one-armed man. Who saved Kimball's life? Why, Lieutenant Gerard. That series finale drew 78 million viewers, the most watched TV program in history at that time. After all, for four years now, we've, both of us, kept an innocent man in hell. Well, now we're going to end that. In the very final scene of the series, Gerard and Kimball have one final shot together. While no words were exchanged, it said a lot. A humble Gerard extends his hand to Richard Kimball, who is no longer a hunted man. The two men shake hands, finally ending their time as adversaries. And so ended the reign of Barry Morse as the most hated man in America. And ironically, I'll bet he was a bit disappointed by that. So were you a big fan of the series? How about the film? Did you hate Gerard while you watched it on TV or when it came out on video? I think you could place The Fugitive as one of the top 10 dramas in TV history. Hey, thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this one because I enjoyed making it.